Yo, what it do, my boy? It's your boy, Wavy. Stay Wavy TV. I hope y'all staying Wavy out there. Let's get it, man. Let's talk about some hip-hop shit, man. I want to explain to y'all something, man. I want to talk about the reason why Tory Lanez allegedly shot Meg Thee Stallion in the foot and why Tory Lanez factually punched August Alcina in his mouth, man. Right? Now, this all comes down to two things. Number one is height. Tory Lanez is four foot eleven, and we all know, man, men that are that short, they have short tempers because, you know, a lot of times they're picked on for being short, and also they're just not respected as a man because of their height, and also their access to women is very short. Also, because we all know women like guys that's at least like six feet, right? You know, if you're a nigga that's like 5'10", 5'10 and a half, 5'11", you could get away with it. But niggas shorter than that, man, they have a hard time getting women because most women like guys that's like close to six feet tall, right? That's a fact, right? So with that being said, man, um, you know, Tory Lanez is obviously um, a very successful rapper slash R&B singer. Um, I'm a fan of Tory Lanez. I've been a fan of Tory Lanez for years. You know what I'm saying? Before he even blew up and became like a like a big mainstream army artist, I was a fan of Tory Lanez when he was still signed to Sean Kingston. A lot of niggas don't even know Tory was signed to Sean Kingston, but Tory Lanez is a very talented artist, man. You know what I'm saying? He's an extraordinary talented artist, right? But even though he's successful and he's rich and he's known, right? He still carries demons from his past of being, you know, four foot eleven. Um, also, um, you know, uh, uh, Tory Lanez was like balding at one point, right? So he's obviously insecure as well. He got a hair transplant, but for some reason, even after he got a hair transplant, this guy still has a bald spot in the back of his head. So he fixed his hairline, right? seems to have seems to have hair on the top of his head but in the back there's this huge uh golf ball size bald spot in the back of his head you know what i'm saying and it's crazy because i remember tyga got the uh the hair transplant and tyga has a full head of hair now bro tyga's hairline used to you know look just like tory's before he got his shit done right but now tyga has a full head of hair this nigga tyga has braids nigga you know, Tiger got a full head of hair, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you take a guy that's four foot eleven, you know, his his hairline's receding, he's balding. Uh Tory Lanez, man, he has the short the 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 short guy complex, right? And he's very short tempered. So I just feel like when it comes to being disrespected, I think Tory Lanez has a very short fuse for that type of shit. <clears throat> and I seen the video of august alcina walking past tory and that shit was mad disrespectful the way that august did it was like <laughs> like number one there was a bunch of people around right i think if it was just him and tory and maybe two other people i don't think tory would have punched august the way he did right but because he did that shit in front of a lot of people and everybody reacted and somebody was recording and people in the background was laughing I think that shit like really lit off a fuse inside of Tory Lanez's brain to where he, he just couldn't help it. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna fuck this nigga up. Let me teach this nigga a lesson, a lesson, right? And it's funny because like when August was walking past Tory, like he looked right at him, looked down at his hand and kept walking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm gonna be honest, man. You know, us as men, bro, like we have egos and you know, we take shit like that very personal, right? So a lot of niggas, man, is not gonna give people the pass for doing that type of shit. But the reason why I'm so disappointed in Tory Lanez is because you're already fighting a case with Meg Thee Stallion where you allegedly shot this woman in the foot, right? If he's found guilty, he's going to prison, right? You might go to prison for two years, three years, five years, who knows, right? But we do know that you've been publicly saying that you're innocent and we do know that you've been publicly saying that this whole shit is not how how mega saying it happened and a lot of people believe tory lance like what's interesting about that is 
a lot of people in the industry still are cool with Tory Lanez. They still rock with him, still talk to him. They still pop up in his Instagram lives when he's doing the quarantine radio shit. I think most people believe he didn't do it. But with this situation with August Alcina, like, bro, you know you're fighting a case where you allegedly shot a woman and you choose to beat up August Alcina because he didn't shake your hand? Come on, my nigga. How fucking stupid can you be? So not only could you face even more prison time than you would face for just the Meg situation, but now the judges are going to see it. Now the judges are going to hear about you doing something else, and that's going to influence them to say, you know what? I think this guy did it. So, you know, Tory, man, he has a he has a, a the small guy complex, man, and he's very short tempered because he's short. He's insecure. Um, he probably was bullied growing up because of his height. And he he feels like he has to be violent because, you know, that's how he responds to disrespect, man. I'm pretty sure this guy had a very rough childhood because of his height. And that's that's how he chooses to deal with things, man. He can't control himself emotionally. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, it's, it, it, it's very unfortunate, man. But that's just the reality of the situation. You guys got to remember, Meg the Stallion is damn near six feet tall, right? So... Tory dealing with a woman like that, who knows what she may have said or what she may have done to cause him to say, you know what, let me shoot this bitch if he allegedly did that. But me seeing how he reacted to August Alcina, I 100% believe he shot Megan Stein in the foot. I believe it because Tory Lanez has a bad temper. He has a bad temper, bruh. And I just think that when he feels disrespected, I think his temper is so bad that he really cannot control himself. I honestly believe this. So with that being said, man, that's what that's how I feel, man. That's why I think Tori is doing these wild things, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. It's your boy Wavy. Subscribe, click that thumbs up button. I'm out this bitch. Let's get it.